<laughs> I said it feels good. <laughs> what is wrong Yo, with you? Homeboy gets stretched. Homeboy has a stay over bag. <laughs> Bro, that is a regular from Texas. A regular from Texas. No! No, we got him. 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 <laughs> what you used to say? <laughs> we got him. We got him. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome back to episode 66 of the BES podcast, the best sports podcast in the world. And y'all know what time it is when you hear that voice. Oh, yeah. Real low in the mic. Real okay. sensual. <laughs> to the far right of me, we have the one, the only, right? The Lakers should have called him instead of JJ. Right. Okay? The master of the X's and O's. He sold Mike Krzyzewski the master class of being the Damn. one of the best college coaches of all time. What was it? Pat Summit. Who? What? Let me stop. R.I.P. Um, Coach EJ. Round of applause for Coach EJ. Yes. <laughs> How we feeling? I'm good. Besides these braces in my mouth, uh, everything's yeah. good, bro. Smile for me, daddy. What you looking at? <laughs> energy, baby. Look, energy, energy. Look at that. Damn. Thought he was low. To the right of me. <laughs> you what? Know, Ray Ben peeped this tat. Oh, damn it. You're noticing now? No, no, no. What no, a no he didn't notice it until like the what other day, bro. What a friend you I think are, it was brother. Like Father's Day? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Ray peeped it when I first got it. Yeah. Damn it. Yo, your form is mad big, bro. Nice save. <laughs> nice save. This guy, bro. <laughs> nice save. He's like, you know what? Let me compliment his arms. Good Whatever. save there, buddy. Whatever. To the right of me, we have 16 time gold glove champion. I don't, that's not even called the champion, right? 16 time gold glover. Four-time Glizzy Goblin champion. That's and now, the lead potter of PES Podcast. Thanks. <laughs> hey, listen. Let me break the fifth wall here for the viewers and the listeners. I bought an HDMI cord, so now we can see what's being recorded on TV. I know. We're kind of late. It's okay. And now Eli sees himself on TV. And he's geeked. <laughs> yeah. So, from this point forward, we're going to see a high-energy Eli. Quote unquote prima donna. Go sexy. Yeah, yeah. So don't be um don't be surprised. But to finish off to the right of me, your favorite first baseman, Eli Matt Olson Vasquez. Round of applause. Here. How we feeling? Good, man. Yeah. Feels good. Yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> I said it feels good. <laughs> what is wrong Yo, with you? Homeboy gets stretched. Homeboy has a stay over bag. <laughs> Bro, that is a regular from Texas. A regular from Texas. No! no we got him. 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 <laughs> what you used to say? <laughs> we got him. We got him. <laughs> hey, viewers, listeners, once again, I came in today. Whatever. Eddie, Eddie, First of all, oh, EJ, you didn't know. First of all, ring the doorbell. <laughs> the little door thing, right? Mm -hmm. Here comes this nigga. I hear his footsteps. You can't, yo, you can't not hear. You can't mask the for, the footsteps. Cool. So I hear him getting to the door. I'm like, all right, you about to open the door. Nigga, I need you to open this fucking door. Yeah, it works. Right? He opens a peephole. Yo, yo, I, where I live at, you know, get a little Yo, who the fuck is coming to your house, bro? And that's why, okay, wait, let me continue. Ah, you're just ah ah. <laughs> he's showing out. He's showing out. This nigga think he's slick. He's showing out. Ah, bro, no, no, no. He's showing out. I don't give a fuck what you ate. You ate pussy rolls. <laughs> That's what you ate. <laughs> you ate pussy roll. That's what you ate. <laughs> okay, cool. Open the door. I ask him. Did you just look through the people? EJ goes. Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> what else am I supposed to say? Hey, your dog. I walked by him. I said, we're not doing this today. Yeah. Nah, I'm not doing this today, right? Cool. We come in. I forgot what the f The conversation starts. He starts packing this bag and puts it over the shoulder to bring it to the room. I go, boy, do you got a just-in-case bag? Where have you been staying at, bro? What's her name? Bro, no. He's like, well, what's the stupid shit you tell me? Nah, bro. It's the same bag that's been here for... I have yet to see that bag in this living room. Bro, you have. It was sitting right there. One of the videos, one of the pods, it was, it was on, the, on the couch, then it moved there, then I put it on here. It was making its way to my room. You were making your way. <laughs> you were making your way. Oh, what are all three of their names? Damn. 
Well, what do you what do you say? You said Josefina, Rosangela. Um, <laughs> First of all, Rosangela is crazy. I got heat for that too. Damn, but the, whatever. Hey, I told him straight up. I told him straight up. Listen, once I'm on camera, it's pod ray. It's content ray. A lot of the shit that I'm probably gonna say, it could be, it could be true. But I'm here to get to make content. Yeah. And if you're calling me because of this, I did my job. That being said, your favorite dad, Nefty, the man that makes fat look sexy. <laughs> yeah, I guess round of applause. <laughs> <laughs> um, guys, 13 minutes in, even though like half of that is just jibber-jabbering. You smell. NBA draft? Oh, uh, yeah. But... No, got yeah, it. No. NBA draft no. was this past Wednesday, Thursday, Wednesday, wherever Thursday, it was. Wednesday, Thursday. Wednesday, Thursday. Oh, it was a two-day uh, this year, correct. Mm -hmm. Or la well, by the time this uh, well, yeah, by the time this episode comes out, either audio or video, last week, I'm gonna read off notable names, right? One through five, we have Zakari, Z whatever how you ever, however you pronounce oh, his you last name. It, you said it right, Zakari. Zakari. I don't know how to pronounce it. Riz Rizatcher? Rizatcher? Rizatcher. 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 This is the French. Okay, yeah. Shay. This is the French. By the way, the French. Uh, yeah, they're 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 developing talent. Out yeah, there. we're the Olympics are a little bit more spicy now for me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, goes number one gets uh chosen by the Atlanta Hawks. Hawks. Number two we have Alexander Sar by uh, gets picked by Washington. Excuse me, I'm fixing my thing here. Um, number three we have Reed Shepard. Houston picks him up. Uh, is it Stefan or Steven? Uh, Steven? Uh, Stefan. Stefan Castle. By the Spurs, Ron Holland, the second by Detroit. I'm going to skip a few numbers here. Eight, we have Rob Dillingham. And I'm only bringing this up for this reason. I did mention this. Do not let the Spurs pick Rob Dillingham. Unfortunately, what the Spurs ends up, ends up doing is trading Rob Dillingham for a current seven-year-old to yeah. Minnesota. And what I mean is they trade him for a draft pick at 20... 31. So whoever they're going to pick in 2031 is probably seven years old right now. Gross. Um, 16, we have Jerry McCain. I only put that because he's a dookie, and that guy's been like, there's two names in this entire draft that's been the face of the draft. And we're going to get to the second one in, in a second. Um, my second dookie, just because I think this is a steal, in my opinion, especially being that they could potentially be losing Markkinen, is Kyle Filipowski at 32 mm -hmm. by the Utah Jazz. And last, but certain, certainly not least, by Eli's doing, the Los Angeles Lakers end up choosing LeBron James the second. Yeah, good job, Eli. Good job, bro. Good shit, man. And you guys keep below. You guys are doing an amazing job right now in the front office. We're doing and, and a rookie. What, what, how old is he? 40 years old? Rookie 40 old uh, coach? Yeah, we're doing great. L right. Lakers, 2025 champions, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to have the best, best season in the world, bro. We're going to go home early. It's going to be great. It's going to be a movie. Thoughts? <laughs> I believe this one a lot. Actually, before you guys start, let me just say this. I didn't watch this draft. I didn't watch it either. This is probably one of the... No, 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 no offense. No, no. no, you don't have to even preface it with this probably one of. This is the Ooh. most boring. <laughs> boo boo. <laughs> Yo, I had to ask, yo, who's the pro who's the projected number one? I don't even know who the projected number yeah. one is. And then, again, no offense, I saw the tapes. Everyone that got picked, I saw the highlights, I saw the tapes, I get it. Then I found that it was like some, some you know, some French guy, some overseas guy. And I'm like, oh, we're down bad. Yeah, <laughs> we're I'm down bad. bad. Oh, yeah. You're absolutely right. And I think, what was it? The French dominated the top ten, right? Or some shit? Yeah, I believe Or just so. the Europeans? Yeah, Europeans. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I do think, you know, whether Eli believes it or not, I think the Lakers won the draft. With that one pick. Oh, and the, the yeah, yeah, yeah. You got Dalton Connect. Yeah. Connect. There we go. Sorry. Yo, That's and, nice he, and you could play. You could plug him in right now. He's literally going to be J.J. Redick 2.0. That's how he's going to probably A young J.J. Redick. Yeah, at that. a young J.J. Redick. Well, he's older. Hmm? He's older. He's yeah, like he's 20, 25, 26. Uh, yeah. But he's, he's like 6'6", six, 6'7". Six, six, he can rebound, he can defend a little bit, and he can score. And he can score, yeah. He can shoot, and he can get to the rim. Yeah, I think so. I think that's a great pickup. And um, for all intents and purposes, for everybody that hates, I could care less. Uh, Bronny's going to be a good NBA player. He's not He's not going to be his dad. Nobody's asking him to be his dad. You know. He's going to be his own basketball player. He's smart. 
He's athletic. He's he's smarter than a lot of dudes that are that are in the league right now, and he can shoot. You know what? All, all he needs to do is go out there and defend and shoot the ball. You know what makes me mad? I'm sorry. I'm probably cutting you off. I don't get that. I don't get the hate. Me neither. Like I just feel like if there's something that you guys are seeing that we're not seeing, please DM me immediately, please. Because I don't understand. You know what I don't like? I don't like everybody like, bro, he averaged 3.2 points. Yeah, yo, you, yes, exactly. Like, Do you guys want to go check what Jimmy Butler averaged at Marquette his second year there? Thank you. Thank you and and he spent three years in Marquette. Thank you. And it didn't jump that much on his third year. No. What, where's Jimmy now? Or how about, how about the dudes that did go crazy in, in college and then got to the league? And... So what does, it, what does it really matter? And, and to EJ's point, I think what's also going to help him a lot he found his identity. Yeah. He's not, I'm just picking a name here. I'm not, I'm not picking on this player. It's not like it's Rob Dillingham thinking like, yo, I'm about to be the MJ in the league. And bro, no, you're probably going to be at most Clay, Clay Thompson. Yeah. No, no. Bron, excuse me. Bronny knows that he's, I don't know, what, what people compare him to, like well, they, Marcus they, Smart or like. He uh, was saying like he's, he, he like wants to compare himself to like Derek White. Yeah, holiday. And if you know that already, a perfect archetype I, too yeah. for him to match. Not only that, it's what we're going to. You're gonna. That's the reason why the Knicks that. got Macau. Yeah, it's players like that. Exactly. They're, you need the dual threat players now. Exactly. The ones that could get two, three steals and probably drop twenty on a given night. Yes. Yeah, you need that. So you know, I I do really think that the Lakers came out. You you ended up now. You ended up. Picking, you're drafting well in the draft, so that now you set yourself up for the off season to make moves. And now you got, now you know, Bron's about to come back on a, on a budget friendly deal, so that you can make moves in the off season. You got D'Lo coming back. You don't know what you're doing with D'Lo, but the fact that you have him signed back, now you can, you really can make moves. Like you're not out here just sitting there with your, you know, thumb up your butt. <laughs> Now it's the question is who do you get, you know? Yeah, that now That's the question. This is this is this is where the hard work comes in now. Oh, I do wanna hold sorry. I do wanna make no I didn't put it out there. I think OKC also got a good pick. They picked a dude from Oakland, the shooter, the white boy. Oh yeah, he's on the summer league team. I, I thought that was that was tough. Oh, that was I, tough I also up. like I the um you don't have it up here, but um my guy, Morant, he he had a little funny thing on Twitter because of uh what's his name? Oh, from Zach Eady. Yeah, from Purdue. Yeah, this is I think I think that was a nice pickup for them. Uh yeah. I mean I just feel like it puts uh what's his name? Jackson at the four, where yeah. I think he'll thrive better at. Yeah. It's not saying he can't do it at the five because he can. My only concern with that is the spacing offensively. Right? Mm-hmm. Because like Zach Eady's really gonna be in that paint. Like you really not going that's, that's a lot of the criticism. True. And for John Morant, I I really really just for John Morant, I'm not really worried about anybody else. John Moran loves to freaking get into the lane and stuff yeah. like that. So pick, pick how, rules. Yeah, how's that spacing going to work out? But I do think, in a sense, like it helps him out because now John Moran can literally like throw the ball in and see what Zach Eadie's going to do. I, yeah, I think he if if he could simulate what he did in college, Yeah, I think, we like I said, we don't have a guy that can hey, go, uh, go get the ball, put it in the hoop, healthy. you know? Just go hit up Stan Van Gundy and ask how the 2009 Magics did it. Yeah, facts, facts. It's, yeah. Um, like that. Um, all right. Oh, anything else? Sorry. My bad. Any uh, other picks? Oh, I mean, I understand. So let me say this, right? It actually really, it really made me sad because I really wanted to see him in San Antonio. But I understand the trade because Castle is similar to Rob. Yo, exactly. Like, so my, my boy is a, is a Spurs fan and uh, he hit me up about it and he knows I was big on Rob going to San Antonio. Yeah. But Castle and Rob are the same player. Castle's just bigger. Castle's six seven. Rob's like six two, six one. And I think Castle offers more in a sense of like versatility. I could put him on a bigger on a bigger guard, a bigger forward if I need to. Okay. But what I do th- I do think Rob wins like um immediately because now he goes into Minnesota. You could just come off the bench. You just have to score. You don't got to do anything else. And that was the other thing. Someone brought this up, and I'm like, this is a very, very good point. Because even though they're similar, they're, they are different in two things. Castle, and this might be because he came up in UConn. Castle is a very, I don't want to limit him to this because it could change in the NBA. But he is more of a, 
like playbook type guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's what probably uh, Popovich he's a, wants. He's a high IQ kid. While Rob is, is like, yo, that's cool, but give me the ball <laughs> yeah. and I'll drop 15 right, in two minutes. Right. So, but that works out for Minnesota because now they you can that. literally plug him in as a, he's your sixth man now. He's you your t- Tyrese Maxey, your yeah. Emmanuel Quickly. Hey, and th- that's a good, I'm not saying they're similar. Please don't. Not yeah. you guys, them, because they want to chop these words up. Yeah. That's a good uh, backup for Ant. Oh, hell if yeah. If you lose that little spark. No, nah, no, nah, bro, we got Rob doing Ant coming Yo, in, bro. And I think also for Rob, like, it's also good in a sense, like, you're going to play high-level ball right away because Minnesota's going to be contending. Mm-hmm. You're able to learn under Mike Conley, who's a seasoned, seasoned, great NBA vet to learn under. Um, you know, you got to, you, you know. And Minnesota's up and coming as far as the market and stuff. So I feel like Rob, you know, the Spurs put Rob in a really good position. Um, I know Rob wanted to be in San Antonio, but, you know, that's just the way the league works. Damn. Imagine Rob there because uh, well, this guy went, yeah, Shepard went to Houston. Both of them in Texas like that? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I, I wasn't really too happy with Reed Shepard at three. No disrespect to Reed Shepard. I just, I just honestly feel that if Reed was – in any other draft besides this year, he's not in the top ten. There's nothing to me that he he is a glorified right now, maybe a better version of TJ McConnell. Oh, I was about to say Tyler Hero. No, nah, Tyler Hero's bigger than him. Damn, Shepard is that small? Yeah, he's only like six two, six three. Oh, I don't even know. I didn't even look like that to me. Wow. You feel me? So and I I, I mean, you know, I have my issues with Tyler Hero, but Tyler Hero yeah, he puts the ball in the hoop. You feel me? There, there was that one year in the playoffs where we thought, where well, even still, Miami still like, yo, we not letting letting go of yeah. him. You know, it, I I hope Reed Shepard proves me wrong. Yeah, no, of course, of course. I hope he proves me wrong. Everybody, I just, draft. I think a long term, what like I don't understand. I don't see how the the pick fits. You have you have a plethora of guards already in Houston. So how is that supposed to work? You got Fred Van Fleet, Jalen Green, um. Uh, the other there's there's a well, bunch of young guards yeah, out there. Yeah, yeah. Well, Mosley, right? Isn't Mosley, one of them or some shit like that. I don't know. You know what I mean? So I I just don't see how that works, personally. Um, you think you think he's trying to do a Boston part two over there? Maybe unless that's what unless if that's what Udoka's trying to do, then bro, you got it. That's I'm wrong, but I don't know. I don't know. Cause I mean. And it's kind of like the makeup, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that got, it, it seems like that's what he's trying to do. You got your guards, you got your uh, long wing players, exactly. you got the one guy with, uh, what's his name, Sagoon. Yeah. I mean, all right. How the you one feel, big man, yeah. How you feel about your boy going to Philly? Um, I'm going to be honest with you. I think it's pretty cool, right? I I think it's cool in the sense that him and Maxi are probably going to hit it off. Pause. It's going to be a fun backcourt to watch, yeah, in good. my opinion. It's just that it's Philly. Yeah. And that organization just doesn't know how to manage their players very yeah. well. So that's the only thing that I feel bad for them. Yo, I'll tell you what. You got two guards that can light it up. Two guards that can yeah. light it up. So that's fun. <laughs> Yo, that if, whole... they, if they can get in their little bag. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's going to be doing, be doing his dancey dance. That's for sure. Yeah. 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 That's not stopping. I know. It's fun though. It's gonna be. It's gonna be super fun to watch Philly. It's just, and then uh, you know, I think their coach is also a question, bro. Is, I don't it, know. is Nick Nurse no? Is it? Yeah. I still don't like that nigga there. I mean, he was he was cool in Toronto. Like, what are you doing, in Philly, bro? No, no. Yo, because listen, that's that's another thing that I, I think uh, organizations don't understand, bro. City culture plays a role. Yeah. And sometimes, if your coach is too much of a pussy to, to coach in a tough city like Philly, boon. Yeah. New York City might be too tough of a city for Boone to manage. Yikes. We're going to get to them, yeah, but uh, get to him and them. <laughs> yeah, but it, that's, I feel like sometimes, hey, your boy, LA was too bright for your boy. And now he has to go back out Doc Rivers in Milwaukee. Who, oh, him? Yeah, I think that, right? He went back to Milwaukee? He's, he's now, right? I don't know. Isn't I mean, Milwaukee's assistant? He was. I don't know if he went no, back. No, he went back. Wow. Damn. I'm honored that you think this is staged. Flatter. Matter of fact, I'm amazed. <laughs> Start to the summer, man. This shit is a doozy. Uh, um, all right. 
Still kind of in the draft, but now we're going to talk about a lot of the bigger names and a lot of the dudes opting out. We'll start with your boy, LBJ. Yeah. We know why, but I'm going to ask just in case. Any thoughts as, is LBJ leaving? Uh, oh. <laughs> I don't think I don't, so. Yeah, I don't think right. so. I Yo, unless not. he pulls some crazy. No, because you know what's going to piss hey, me off? Hey, Ronnie, stay right there. Yo, that's, <laughs> that's what's going to piss me off. You did all the... For listeners and viewers, if you think LeBron is leaving, you might need to go check yourself. Actually, no, check in. Your like check in. Go go check into some psychotic. He's not gonna have this whole hoopla. Uh, draft Ronnie and then be like, <laughs> that'd be crazy, bro. He's set to get fifty-two million next year. Yeah, nah. We are pretty nah, sure nice it's trying to g- give more for the cap space. Yeah, yeah, he's coming back. He's coming back. So he's let's. Like- he might, he might pull a show, hey. Can you defer in that, man? I don't know. But who knows? He might be I mean, first. we ain't knowing the MLB and yeah, niggas yeah, doing he, it. He might be yeah, first. I guess you're right. I guess you're right. Um, PG-13. This is probably the biggest fish. That's the one. That, no, that's more than the one. <laughs> that's more than the one. That's, that's <laughs> the, restart yo, it. He's the key to everyone, bro. He's the one right now, bro. I, bro, he go to Golden State. He go to the Lakers. He go to the Knicks. Like, he just, if he land and... I'm big whoa, whoa, spots. Whoa, 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 whoa! I'm letting y'all know this right now. He goes to the Knicks. I'm a Knicks fan. This, I'm just saying it. <laughs> I'm, I'm just, getting a jersey. I'm just saying I'm it. If, he's wearing, if he if he goes over there and he picks number thirteen, you will see me with a oh, jersey. Oh, one hundred! You will see me with a jersey. He better have thirteen. He better wear thirteen. There should be no other number he's wearing. He, he will see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you named a lot of teams, brother. I'm just saying. Do you do you believe now this is going to affect the next guy that I'm going to bring in? Do we believe that he's going to Golden State? It's possible. Oh, PG. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's possible. possible. And I think, I think for the Warriors, it, it would it would make them it, it would skyrocket them a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be like, damn. Yeah, nah, nah, facts. I, I'm gonna be the same I'm gonna be, way. I'm gonna, keep it I'm gonna above, be the bro. same like, way, bro. Damn, son. And it's not, and it's no offense because I know everyone hates on like everyone's downfall, and it's not, it's not playing their downfall. It's just like, damn, they're damn. they're good, bro. Like when somebody's organization is playing well, have their career, and then you have at the hell end, you get somebody. Like I'm only saying that for if you're a LeBron fan, you're like hoping that your team can do that. And you got a team like them that uh, grab a player like that and continue to go forward. Like, yeah. they get him. Obviously, it's all about health. Yeah. But, boy. It's a lot to deal with. Boy. And then, because you opt in him, Clay might just take the bare minimum. Not the bare minimum, well, but you know what I mean? To make him stay. Well, it seems like they're done with him. I know. I know. I think Clay's gone. Well, I think it's because how much money he's asking for. Yeah, nah, Clay crazy. Clay's asking for money? Yeah. He's asking for a lot. Clay crazy. He's asking more than what he's worth right now. Bro, you, you, you're you asking for yesterday's price. What Fat Joe say? It ain't today's price. It, you know? It ain't. And that's what I'm saying. Like, if, if Clay can be like, yo, we just got In PG. the opposite direction. In the opposite direction. In the opposite direction, brother. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. Yeah, this is this not. Ain't, this <laughs> isn't pre, pre Achilles yeah, ACL yeah, Clay, uh, bro. It's not. It's really not. Yo, it, oh, my God, bro. I'm and and I, I'm going to be honest. Besides, you know, Clay's smart remarks throughout his career, that boy's a specimen. No, you know I get I mean? it. I get like, it. But hey, on both ends, and I've said this openly on the pod. I'm like, bro, he does not look the same after the no. injury. My boy can't defend. He can't. He can't move left to right. He can't. Can't do it no more. And he's expected to do that on that team. And then two, my boy tired because he got to go left to right and he got to shoot about 15 threes. My boy got no legs, no legs. Yeah. So. I was saying maybe if PG's there, he can take that role of b- taking the role of hey, I'll defend. We'll bounce around on each other. We'll bounce around and play some fence, and then. <laughs> <laughs> what type of timing are we on? Yo, nah, I cut it out. Okay. And then we'll we'll you're feeling we'll, freaky today, no, bro. Bro, it's that and just in case bag, bro. I'm no, telling yo, you, bouncing yo, around on each up. other. Yeah, no, she's bouncing around on. No. Crazy. And insane. they can obviously share the offensive load. Yeah. No, she's sharing the loader. 
I can't say anything. Hey, bro, listen. Yeah, we're locked in. Um, Clay, cut it out, bro. Honestly, just retire. I, I just retire. Yo, and the thing is, where does he I'll go? Say where does I'll he say it. I'll say it. Just retire, bro. Well, if he goes to the freaking no, Lakers. No, I don't want to hear it. No, don't, <gasps> don't go to Orlando. You don't want him to go to the Lakers? That's what the Lakers want to get him? Yeah, the yeah. Lakers are interesting. My, my thing right. is, bro, is that when you look you guys, at when you, you look at our guards. Pick anybody up now. Or, honestly, when you look at our guards, we don't have guards that play fence. You know what I mean? Reeves tries, but he still gets scorched. D'Lo doesn't try. You know what I mean? Like, our guards are getting washed. And then when you have a guy like Clay, who's also not, he, he's going to try to play defense. He's he's gonna get scored on. But I, I mean, like we do, we need a guy that's gonna go in there. And who play do you fence. who do you go and get though? Because other free agent guards. I'm not saying that there's someone out there. Oh. You know what I mean? There's no one you can get. You kind of gotta ride and die with this team. Or unless you try and get PG. Unless you get PG, then I'm like, yeah, cool. But I'm saying if he ends up in Golden State, and then because yeah, of yeah. that, we then get Clay. Because, it it don't help us. Because I know I saw a post. Uh, maybe on Bleacher Report or something, saying LeBron wanted to take the cut to get a veteran guard in or a big. Yeah, but then like, I saw Valanciunas as a big. Well, I don't know. I might get. I might guess and no on him. I think Valanciunas would be a good pickup. But the other person they put they put in that post is your boy. I know. Hamez. I know. And I know how you feel about Hamez. Another. <laughs> another. <laughs> Another dude that, in Eli's eyes, can't play defense. If you can't play defense to Eli, you're trash. Yeah, no, exactly. It, you know what it is, It doesn't bro. matter what you can do about no, putting the ball in. If you can't play defense, I'm sorry, buddy. You know yeah, just is? don't play the game. <laughs> nah. Don't play the game. No, bro, that's not, what I'm, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying you have – where was Reeves in the playoffs? You know what I mean? If you're not going to play fence, you better score. D'Lo, like, if, if you don't play fence, you better score. Like, Clay struggled. D'Lo or James Harden? I'm, take, I'm taking D'Lo. I, you know what it is? You know what it is? I, I don't care guy. what he does in the, in the, in the playoffs, bro. Can't win. <laughs> I'm going to just be honest. He goes to the Clippers. They lose 13 straight. They make it to the playoffs. My boy doesn't do anything. They lose. His <laughs> record is gross. Am I saying, is he better than D'Lo? Yes, he's 1,000% better than D'Lo. You think LeBron changes that? Huh? LeBron. I, I don't think he can change it because he didn't change Russ. That's, you're, we're talking about two totally different I'm, players, I'm just dog. Saying, That's two totally different you think, players. No, you're, I don't, I'm, not, I'm saying, not saying that you're wrong, but Russ mentality that's not James. What's the Russ, difference from J- James? So he can't Russ, he can't flip. Once it hits postseason, it, it Kawhi, goes backwards. No, Kawhi, Kawhi made Kawhi made James be like, yo, 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 we got something going on here, and we need you to lock in. Now, what ended oh. up happening is, unfortunately, injuries started hitting them up. They get to the playoffs. Playoff Kawhi, playoff PG, playoff James came out, and it is what it is. But now you go to the Lakers, and you're playing. You're playing now with literally. Yo. If not the best, the most, the smartest player of all time. Hear me out. Just hear me out. E. Hear me out. Because here's where, here's how my head works. All right, let's hear. It. You use James and you have Harden. Rondo as your assistant. Yeah, James no, Harden. No, I, I that I do. I, well, I don't. I wouldn't mind him as not an assistant, but I'll I'll take him. James Harden as your point guard, right? Yeah. You're now because we all see what James Harden did in Houston when he had a competent big. Now you're giving him Anthony Davis. Okay, so you know that he's gonna be capable of running whatever offense that JJ decides to put in. But let's just say for example they run a, they want to run pick and roll offense. Now you got to worry about JH coming off of a, of a ball screen, a lob to Anthony Davis, a kick to LeBron, a kick to let's just say quote unquote Clay Thompson. And offensively his 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 game is he has and a pretty high IQ. No, I'm not saying he doesn't. I'm no, I'm no, no, not. but I I know what you mean, but I'm just saying James Harden, to me, gives the Lakers a plethora of options as opposed to just getting Klay Thompson because I don't believe in D'Lo at all. I hear you. I'm with, I agree. At all. I'd rather them make that, make that switch D'Lo, James Harden straight up. You feel me? That's just me. But 
I do get what you mean in a sense. Like in the playoffs, he doesn't really show up. But in my heart, I feel like maybe LeBron can change that. I'm gonna throw another name, and then I'm gonna throw another name. That it just a lot is on him. You know what I mean for that. Yo, to happen. But 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 now I feel like LeBron is at that point in his career where he can do this now. He can do this. Like yo, there's no you reason. You gotta trust him. There's, you gotta trust James yeah, Harden. Yeah, there's no reason why like. James Harden or Chris Paul? Mm, that's a that's a tough I'm one. A, I'm I'm gonna be honest. I'm a uh, I'm gonna go James Harden. I'm gonna go James Harden just because it age though. I'm gonna just go there because the last three, last six years, same hamstring. Last three years, my boy can't stay on the court. So it doesn't matter what he does. But We're looking. For- injuries aside, though, I think that's a really great. These are the debate. two names that the Lakers are in question of picking up. Yeah, that's a great debate. Yeah. I would, I would only go there because you know what it is. I, I'm gonna bring it up. Chris Paul, James Harden, Game Six is in Houston against Golden State. They're up three two. Chris Paul hurts the same hamstring. Yeah. Guess what happens? Golden State now goes wins there and then wins seven at home. All right, but-, but I'm just saying it's. Chris Paul can get anyone over the hump. He can. He can go to OKC yes. and A.O. Shea, come get this work. I'm going I'm to help you get there. Like, he's gone to teams and here. Elevated. He, here. He's going to go to the Lakers, go here. Guess what's going to happen? Ow, I got to sit. And then, boom, the Lakers. Like, you know what I mean? I think if he was healthy, he could stay healthy, that hamstring could get duct taped together. Yes, I'm taking Chris Paul over James Harden. Yeah. But no, I can't. James Harden, yes, is going to stay on the court. Yeah. Which the options you said, I, I do agree with. I think he can do all those things. Because when D'Lo turns a corner, no one is scared of him. Exactly. No one. Now, and that, to me, like, um, just like is, is an issue that the Lakers have. Your, your guards are no threat. No, you're not getting no that threat. weak side help. No one's coming they around. No threat, yeah, yeah, you're right. No, I agree. I agree. Yeah, because that Philly James Harden was was kind of lethal. He was. It's he just was. that Joel is not LeBron. Well, Joel. yes, that too. But Joel again, he's yo hurt, injured. Like I'm with you. I you may just, have. And I don't know if y'all been watching LeBron work out this summer. I'm. I'm. He's ready for the Olympic. Mm-hmm. It's not even all that. I'm just banking very, very high on the IQ, bro. That too. Yeah. No, LeBron, I'm not. LeBron, you can. I mean, obviously, we can't say that anymore. But we, you can give him a team, and he's just gonna try to figure it out. And if you give him a high, quote unquote, a high caliber player like James Harden, he's gonna figure it out. Especially, Yo, like, especially someone like he said in Houston, he loved that pick and roll when he had Clint Capella that could get go get a lob. Now you have Anthony Davis. Like, bro, yeah, it's different. No, I hear you because now you got him there, and then you got LeBron is is a well known cutter. And, so, and I said yo, this off the pick, a dump, a and, dump to Braun off the cut. Not even, Boom. That, not even that. And I told you one of the strong suit of your favorite boy. All right, that pick and roll. And the, if they if they stop in James, stop in AD, but the help D in the corner, you have AR over there ready for yeah. a three. He's or Bronny James, whichever one, whichever one. Boom. I'm with you. I'm with you. You 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 know. may have changed my perspective. Or no, screw all that. Dalton connect. I'm telling you. I'm 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 with you. I've seen I've seen the highlights. Yo, I had to go back and and and, and listen. If there's one thing JJ Redick might bring to this team, oh, your three point ball. Let is it about no, to go, let it be known. It's about to go crazy. They about to be strapped up. It's That's about for to go sure. Find to shoot a thousand they, threes a day. Yo, practice. They probably gonna start. Yo, five hundred makes. Yeah. Got damn, they're gonna be like, damn, coach. You ain't moving. Like, gonna be, <laughs> they're gonna be the only time you hate shooting. <laughs> We're not running today, coach. Damn. My bad. <laughs> um, Clay just retired. Yeah, sorry, Clay. Yeah, sorry. Cause you know what's my other thing with Clay? I, I, let's not let me not downgrade him like that. I'm just gonna say this, and then we can move on. It's just that, bro, your entire career was in Golden State. You built such a great chemistry in Golden State, and now everybody wants you to go to these teams. And cool, uh, your you know the way you play can help them out. Like maybe you can help Orlando because you can shoot. But people really just completely forget the fact that chemistry plays a huge role on the team. Wow. And if I if I just dump you in Dallas, if I just dump you in Orlando, or what was the other team? I, obviously the Lakers. There was another team they said too. I forgot who it was. Cool, you could hit you could hit two, three, four threes a game. But 
how, what is that going to do to the flow of the offense? Yeah. And that's why I'm like, Clay, honestly, if you're not saying, you, you, you did it, dog. You did it. You did it. Yeah, man. You got four rings. It, it might be done. It just might be done. Listen, I just tore my ACL for the second time. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done after this. Right, bro? You, sometimes you just got to know when you're done. It's just it is what it is. Um, Jeez, what it is. Moving on. I got a few uh, personal slash relationship questions for you guys. Awesome. All right. Let's, let's uh, shake it up from sports. Um... Both of you guys have been in a relationship. I'm going to assume that both of you guys have fallen in love, right? Do you think liking someone is more important than loving someone? Repeat that. <laughs> I'm going to repeat the question. And I'm going to give you an example why. Yeah, give me, give me an example. Because I, I started realizing this, and I could be completely wrong. But I, if this person hears me, she's going to have to tell me why I'm wrong. The question, again, is do you think liking someone is more important or not than loving someone? And this is what I mean. We can be in love, right? But if I don't like you, right, and if there's a lot of things I don't like you, I don't want to be with you. I might still have love for you. But I don't like you. And th I think that's very important when you're in a relationship. Yeah. Prime example, my baby moms. Love her to death. She's a very amazing mother to our son. But we weren't really liking each other. Mm -hmm. We weren't really wanting each other's presence. Mm -hmm. Being being places with each other. We start making plans with other people and the other half is excluded. So that I'm trying to say is we weren't friends. That's probably a good way to put it. Mm -hmm. We were lovers. We loved each other, but we weren't friends. And I think, because there's a few people that tell me, why the fuck is my partner my friend? That's my partner. I think you're absolutely wrong, brother. Nah, yeah, you're absolutely wrong. If if you guys don't have some type of friendship, what the fuck then? Yeah, well, You guys are going to hate li living with each other, sleeping with each other, eating with each other. And sleeping, I meant like sleeping, not fucking. Yeah, no. You know? Yeah. But you're going you're gonna to be in bed with your back against each other. Yeah. You not want it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, that's a terrible feeling. Horrible. Not, that's not me saying that we went through that. Yeah, I'm yeah, just yeah, giving yeah. examples. Um, so then once again, is it important to like someone or is love enough to be in a relationship? Um, I don't think it's ever, I don't think love is ever like just enough just to keep a relationship um you know i think i think there's a lot of people that try to try to force it or they um they choose to be oblivious to you know the the signs of like that the love is not enough because like you said i think i do think that there are times where you can be with somebody and you've grown to love them because you've been with them for a long time or whatever, but in your heart, you're you're gonna you're gonna start to realize like, man, there are things about about this person that like maybe I don't really vibe with or that like I don't necessarily agree with that, and you know sometimes people can take it the wrong way and you start to dislike that person mm -hmm. and that's where I think it, it becomes like you might be right like like maybe important to keep the love fresh that's how i feel like like is important to keep the love fresh because you got to make sure that you you like the person that you're with because if not you're you're definitely the love that you do have is going to start to dwindle it'll never be the same if you start disliking that person you get what i'm saying and i think you guys embody that very well yeah Thank you and Ashley. Thank you. I appreciate that. I mean, mm -hmm. I think like not not to like toot our horn, but I feel a lot of times for me and Ash, what has gotten us through our hardest times was the fact that we were able to back on us being best friends first. You know, like like for all intents and purposes, like people be like, "Damn, like you're with Ashley all the time." Like, yo, that's my homie. First and <laughs> foremost, like. I've noticed the biggest things in my life, accomplishments, downs, 
the first person I talked to is her. Because before anything, like, you know, she was she was my homie. She's been my homie since since the start. And see, and right there, right there, that's what it is. I've been told, again, it wasn't, uh, this is mm-hmm. examples. Yeah, 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 this yeah. is not towards me. I don't want people. I've been told that, no, my partner can't be my best friend. That's my partner. Nah. My best friend is X, X, Y, Z. And I go to this person to whenever it's my issue. And right there, it's like, nah. Yeah. That's tough. You're telling me when you have a problem, you don't even go to your partner first? That's tough. And, Ray, to be honest with you, bro, that's a lot of people. That is a a lot? A lot of people, That might bro. be that's... the majority. No, yeah. It, it's the majority, bro. And, and and this is why. And, like, a big thing that me and Ashley, we, like, a big core value of ours is, like, yo, difficult conversations are when the most growth happens. If I, If you and I can't have difficult conversations where maybe I'm going to be uncomfortable or you're going to be uncomfortable, then what are we doing? Yes, and you know why? Because difficult conversations are not only just emotion, com- emotional conversation. A difficult conversation might be me and you have to sit down and have to calculate if we can afford this mortgage. Hey, yeah, That's a difficult conversation. Yeah, yeah. And if we can't have a conversation as to why our love is in, not intact, then why the fuck am I going to get in a mortgage conversation with you? Exactly. Exactly. There's levels to it, for real. That makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. Yeah. But one thing that I do say is people live a delusional lifestyle. And sometimes... Oh, that's yeah, that's a pod for a different day. I know exactly what you're talking no, about. No, you feel me? Like, some people, Say like, they... Lululand. You feel me? Like, they feel that, you know, the life that they're living in their head is what it needs to be. But in reality, in order for you to be with somebody, you gotta find a way. Have to find a way. If you really want to be with that person, you gotta be able to make that shit work together. You're, it can't be, oh, I'm going to live my life this way. You live your life your way, and we still going to be together. Because that you're, shit doesn't work like that. You're hitting. We definitely do have to leave that for a day. Because <laughs> the thing is, there's so many avenues in what he's nah, talking I know, about. I know. I know. Like, we can. Girls, don't get mad at me. That could be a girl who she thinks she's in a very cool uh, or a very great uh, relationship because everything is being given. Oh, he buys me flowers. He buys me, you know, pays for my car. This and that. So to her, the relationship is mm-hmm. is dandy. Mm-hmm. Ask the gentleman how it's going. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And vice versa. And I'm not. Let, versa. let me not just put it on the girls, because then there's relationships, right, where the guy is just the guy is in love of being in the relationship. He's not in love with the girl. He just can't be single. Yeah. So in his mind, oh, I'm I'm with this girl, my life is great. But no, bro, you're not even happy or in love with this girl and not knowing that you're just toxifying the relationship. Right. And that's why that 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 that's a pod for itself. That we could be here for hours. Yeah, bro. I yeah, this this type of stuff I really could get into. <laughs> I get into this. Where the, where the moms at? <laughs> Yo, all right, the moms thing, bro, let me tell you, the moms thing is we're having a conversation. Fuck it, I'm going to say it. We're having a conversation about... Girls. I had a... Yeah. Just girls. Yeah, we'll leave it at that. Let me not put myself out there. Just girls. And a specific female was wearing, quote-unquote, baggier pants. And the baggy pants, the dumper was still poking out. Mm -hmm. So then he goes... Oh, she she was wearing mom jeans. All right, hear me out. I don't pay attention to jeans like that, yeah, so I don't know either. what the fuck. I don't, I don't know what's. I don't, I don't know what's asking. mom's what jeans. I don't know. Leg, where, you know what I mean? I no, no, I know that bottoms. stuff. I know the straight leg and the boot cut, and yeah. I don't know what a mom jean is. Yeah. What's so, a mom it, jean? So wait, stop. Sh- no, no, no. Stop, 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 stop. Ah, you're about to do it. This is why I hate Eli because he's gonna try to get the attention off him, and that's not what we're here for. All right. So then he goes, "You little booty. You thought you thought I was gonna let this slide." Then he goes. <laughs> I was close. I was he close. goes, I only know because you know me. I love my moms. <laughs> I didn't say all that. Nah. A... Kappa. I'm just saying that their jeans are tailor made uh-huh. so that, you know, they show a little <laughs> bit, but not too much. Mom jeans. 
Hmm. They're not necessarily for all the moms. What do you do for a living? You sure you didn't want to be like a lawyer or something? Yeah, you should have been a lawyer. <laughs> my, my mom says that all the time. Uh, your verbiage is... <laughs> let me tell you, brother. You know how to get out of a jam, huh? Yeah, Just... but unfortunately, I'm sticky, brother. I'm peanut butter. Ooh, not peanut butter. Yeah, and that's why we're on this pod. We make a nice little sandwich, you know what I'm mean? saying? <laughs> I guess I'm the judge. Yeah, but he really... No, you know what? I have to give you that one. I have to give you that one. I have to give you that one. <laughs> Hey! Oh man! You really try to sneak that, sneak away from that one. You, tr- you really try to do that. Not with me. Not I. Not I. Right. Um. Yeah. He really threw that at me. Pause. Talk, talking to me. You know me. I love my moms. I'm like, what the? F- Just okay. Another real quick personal question. <laughs> Can you guys? It's actually a dual question. Can you guys spot the flirt? Like the person, or like when somebody's flirting with you? It is both. So let me let me break it down. I, the first answer I want. EJ, if you see a girl flirting with Eli, can you uh, spot minute, can one, you spot one, that one, happening? One thousand. Okay. The other flip side is when you're in a conversation with a woman and the woman is, I'm noticing that the woman is flirting with you, but you don't notice that the woman is flirting with you. Do you notice? Like I know I said that, but yeah. in your mind, do you notice that? Um, I will say as I've gotten older, I've gotten better. When I was younger, I was really oblivious to it. Okay. I'll be honest. I was really I was. I think I think my mind just wasn't really paying attention, <laughs> to be honest. But I think as I've gotten older, being more cognizant yeah. of it, because sorry, women, but some of y'all are devious. They talk about us. I yeah, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Us. No disrespect, no, but it's some, some of y'all, y'all are let devious. Let me not put it on all women, but some, some of, y'all. of y'all are devious. Yikes! I I think now as I've gotten older, I definitely I definitely pick up on it a lot more. Don't ask. Well, we know. We know you, bro. You, I don't, you got, I don't, you got I don't a, pick it up. What? She was looking at me? Well, what? I, I, I don't be noticing anything. I don't No, notice. and yeah, no. It's, he, just, it's no and no for you. I know it's, it's no and no. It's no and no. no. Yeah, it's no and no. What it is, it's my unspoken riz, baby. No, that's it exactly what it is. Me. Nice, it nice callback, brother. That's really nice of you. Professional potter over here. <laughs> yeah, word. Way yeah. to flip that. Oh, f- Yo, you're yo. Just, no, he's on the show, bro. He's, a different, he's on different type of timing, Cause, bro. Just because, just because he can see himself, because <laughs> he can see himself, and his and his just in case bag. Oh, I'm gonna find out this bag, girl. Bro. No, 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 I'm gonna find out this girl, bro. Get off the you bag. might get a text. Oh yeah, so I heard about this just in case bag. Oh, bro, it's just in case in Houston, Texas. I was flying in and out. Whoop, whoop, didn't even know. Flying in and out. Um, moving on to baseball. Right before we get into talks about specific teams, I wanted to play something for you guys. Right, I watched this TikTok, and I want to play this for you guys. Forearm, come on! Energy. All right, let's let's see here. This year's Orioles are oddly similar to the 2016 World Series champs, the Chicago Cubs. Chris Bryant and Gunnar Henderson, both in their second season, 26 bombs in a 135 OPS plus for Bryant, 28 bombs in a 126 OPS plus for Henderson. Bryant won the 2016 NL MVP, hitting 292, 39 bombs, 102 RBIs, with a 7.3 WAR. Henderson could arguably end the season with even better numbers. We're halfway through the season, and he's already got 24 dingers and a 180. The OPS plus. The he's already got a six war. He's on pace for one of the greatest seasons in Orioles history and possible MVP winner. Wilson Contreras and Adley Rushman. Contreras only played 76 games, so about half the season. Go look at their numbers. Almost identical. Javier Baez and Jordan Westberg. Baez in his first full season, the 23-year-old spark plug, utility man, played everywhere in the infield. Westberg in his first full season this year, playing everywhere he's needed as well, second base and third base. He's on pace for a five war this season. Their plate discipline is is also very similar. A lot of whiff and a lot of chase. John Lester and Corbin Burns. Both these teams went out and signed a veteran in the offseason. Lester ended the season 19-5 and with a 2-4-4 ERA, finished second in Cy Young voting, and started Damn. game one of the World Series. Burns has been phenomenal thus far. He's 8-3 and with a 2.28 ERA and should also be in the running for Cy Young. Credit to Theo Epstein and Mike Elias for being the brains behind this blueprint. And if you want to bet on the Orioles this season... Don't be an idiot. Bet on cut. It's peer-to-peer. So all, right, all right, I'm not going to give you a free promo like that. <laughs> Sheesh. Dumb boys is ready. Thoughts? Yeah, man. Yeah, I mean. man. Um, if, I, if I remember correctly, that Chicago Cubs team, they, they, they were, were they the best team in the NL? It was nice. 
Thank you. They were one. They were one, right? I think that that was what was that? That was 2016. So that was the year after the Mets lost in the World Series. The Mets were still the Mets. San Luis was still San Luis. They weren't, and the Dodgers, obviously. They weren't the best, but they were. They were. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I, they had a I, magical run, you know. I think that Orioles team right now is better than that Cubs team. I'm agreeing with you because of this. I see the similarities, and he. It was a lot of statistical shit, yeah, yeah, and yeah. I get that. But this is where Ray the eye tester comes in, because he mentioned one thing, and I get it. I get that those two are the same. The plate discipline that Baltimore has is not the plate discipline that the Chicago. that those Chicago Cubs had. Javi Baez was swinging at anything. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. All right, Anthony Rizzo was swinging at not anything. He wasn't, but he's Anthony is a little bit more disciplined than what he is then. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah, Anthony yeah. now. Now, obviously, this year is a whole different fucking fuck yeah. story, but yeah. whatever. Um, and they had dudes like I think Jason Haywood was on that team. Don't talk to me about plate discipline with Jason Haywood. They had some good utility guys. They had, and they had guys that knew their roles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel. Don't forget, no. Chapman was their closer. Oh yeah, Chapman was their closer. I do feel that um, the Orioles. Well, these these motherfuckers have that that dude, the Dominican guy, or whatever his yeah, name yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I just think that the Orioles, one through nine, are studs. Bam. All of them. No they, breaks. Don't be nice. They lead the league, in team home runs. They got. Seven players with 10 plus home runs. Yeah, bro. They're studs. Every single one of them. Anthony Santander, Adley Rutschman, Gunnar Henderson, uh, Jordan Westberg is a stud. Yeah, he's, he's he just came out of nowhere. Yeah, he's a stud, though. And then, then they got the, the rookie kid, Kowser, coming out of. Yes. Out, out Kowser, of he's been playing probably a month, a month and a half. He already has eight or nine home runs. Cedric Mullins is a, is a vet. So, yeah, they got Cedric Mullins. Now, I know he didn't do well, but don't forget that they still have the kid Holiday. Like, if he finally starts picking it back, yep. back up, now they have another young kid coming Mateo. in. Like, oh, yeah, yo, Mateo's nice. I do like yo, Mateo. They're studs. Studs. Oh. That all of them can just do their jobs really well, yeah. bro. And then you got, you got electric arm. Electric arm. Grayson Rodriguez, electric arm. I like Grayson. Cor- Corbin Burns. Elect- I mean, he's, he's that guy. We should have picked him up. We should have gotten him. He's that guy. I asked for it. He's that guy. The 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 contract that we were willing to play uh, pay Snell. We should have gave it to him. And the crazy thing is, is he doesn't throw a lot of pitches. No. He has a nasty cutter, change up, and he gets to work. I like Corbin Burns a lot. And he eats innings. That's very important. That's true too. Yeah. He For those that innings. don't know, eating innings is very important. I watched them. I watched them pitch when I went to Fenway's opening day. Yeah. Bro, lights out. Yeah. Sheesh. One run he gave up. He pitched eight innings. Nice. All right. Now, I'm just gonna go into the next question instead of asking now. Are they real? Is this a real team we're looking at in Baltimore? Yeah. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I feel like people people downplay matchups in baseball a lot, but I do feel matchups in, ba- in baseball are huge. I mean, I mean, this is the perfect timing for them to. Yeah, this to is perfect ahead. timing. I just depending on who you match up with in the playoffs. Well, I'm you're like, abso- you're absolutely right because I think I think right now the Orioles are like in the last six games they're like two and four. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Playing against like Houston. Houston and Houston is no good. Yeah, well, they've been waking it up, but. I I, they're too far behind to make yeah. any noise. The one team you have on here that I know is for real, it's Cleveland Guardians. Mm. <laughs> they're for real. Hey, I just checked. Yo, every other year, bro, it's like one year they're great. No, 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 all, no. But this year, oh, the thing for real. The thing with this year, right, because two years ago they we met them in the playoffs yeah, and we yeah. beat them in the playoffs, right? That year was because, to me, they were just driven by the top names, the Jay Rams, the Naylor brothers, the the closer, I forgot the closer's name, the Dominican guy. Jose Ramirez. Uh yeah, J Ram. Mm-hmm. Um, still there. Going to work. This year, it's kind of Baltimore ish. It's just that they're just like locking in. Yo, I saw a stat. Stephen Kwan, in the past sixteen games, he's batting like four eighty something. Damn, he's on a tear. And, and not only is he hitting for contact now, oh okay. He's hitting for power. He's like the American League Luis Reyes, but and he the, hit for power. No, and don't let him get on base. 
Oh yeah, he's he's, he's stealing that he's motherfucker. He's snagging it. He's stealing that motherfucker. He's snagging it. <laughs> yeah. Um, listen, I'm only gonna go up to eight because honestly, after seven, it kind of it, it's like whatever. But I'm gonna read eight because they are playing very well. Right now, the power rankings, and I put a few of them up here because I want to talk about these particular teams. One is Phillies, two Orioles, three Yankees, don't know why. Uh, four Guardians, five Dodgers, six Braves, seven Brewers, eight Red Sox. Now, the six teams that I have here, we already spoke about Baltimore. I'm going to move on to the next one, Phillies. Um, I do think the health of Bryce Harper and Kyle Schwarber now puts that into question. Yeah. Okay. But when they're healthy, they're one of the best. Yeah, they, like I said, and, they and, just got to get in. Yeah, and they just got to get in, and they're another. Yeah, they're pitch. They're, they're starting pitching problem. rotation. Light, lights out, bro. Well, that's that's the. I think that's the scary part. They're like this because of pitching. Yes, yeah, their pitching is elite. Like none of their guys. I mean, besides Bryce, Schwarber's not really Schwarbering. Trey has been hurt, and I think he just came back. Castellanos has kind of been non-existent. Yeah, Bryce the one, has been carrying. Yeah. Oh, and Alec Bohm. Alec Bohm has been doing his thing. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, I don't want to disrespect most of the other guys, but obviously we're, we're going to be looking for the big names. And if the big names are not doing what they're supposed to be doing, right? Yeah. Um, I'm with you guys. It does look a little shaky for them. The only thing that I feel like it helps them out a little bit is that the National League, when it comes to the top teams, it is a little scarce. Uh, I mean... I do wow, I did a pretty good job with having three and three. But <laughs> what I can say is the three in the American League is not the only three. Yeah. The three in the National League that I have up there might be the only three. Yeah. Um like, all right, Baltimore Philly. I'm gonna leave I'm gonna leave them last. You kind of already said Cleveland. So we I kinda already have your point with Cleveland. What do you think of the the Guardians? Well, no, I think I like well, besides them going up and down, no, I think they're legit. And I, I I do want to say we own them, but as of late, we ain't owning anyone. <laughs> we ain't owning anyone. Um, we're we're gonna be shaky, but no, nah, I think Guardians are gonna be legit. They could definitely take us off. Baltimore could de- definitely take us off our hump. We are struggling. Atlanta. Wow. Are struggling out there, bro. I don't know. I think what really hurts Atlanta is uh, uh, Acuna. Yeah. Not having Acuna, you know, he was he was slumping a little bit, but I yeah you know, I told someone early in the league Acuna's not there's an injury. Now was it a leg injury? I don't know, and and then ended up being unfortunately an ACL injury, but it looked like something was off with Acuna. But what you lose with Acuna, not all you know. You lose everything, bro. You're losing batting average. You're losing homers. You're losing hits. You're losing seventy freaking stolen well, bases. Defense. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah. What we saw from them last year was going to be hard to duplicate. Like, you had guys 20-plus home runs. You had about five of them. You had him go on a freaking tear. Like, I'm just saying, it's hard. No, Ellie, Ellie already has 40 stolen bases. It's no, like, no, no. I'm saying it's just as a whole. Like, oh. they had five, six players. Oh, you're talking about team-wise. Plus, team-wise. Yeah. Oh. I'm just saying, like, it's hard to duplicate what they did last year. I mean, and Baltimore. Do it again. Baltimore's kind of doing it. 20-plus home runs. They have seven with ten plus, and 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 it's not no, ten. I, it's I, like but like did, fourteen. Did, did 15. they do this last year? Who did they have six? Guys? Yeah. No, I'm saying this is what Baltimore. Is Baltimore doing. is matching what Atlanta oh, did last yeah. year. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Oh well, which is good for them, but yeah, I'm yeah. saying for Atlanta. Oh like, no, for have, Atlanta for no, the no. fall off. I'm Even saying, though they're waking up, because I think Matt Olson already just shot up to 15 home runs or whatever. But but I'm saying you look at them last year and you look at all the great things they did. Stolen yeah. bases, home runs, RBIs as five. a team. Yeah, as they have team. five dudes over 30 plus home runs. You know what I mean? So that's what I'm saying. I'm not saying anything else. I'm saying that specifically. Then you go to this year, that's not the same recipe. And you're yeah. now your main guys out. Well, I think the recipe that they need, they found out. Because last year Atlanta could hit. They weren't really solid pitching wise, even though they had Strider. Yeah. Now, this year they don't have Strider, but Chris Sale really is picking up the slack. Which is surprising. And if they could just get at least 60 to 70% of that batting production they had last year, uh, Atlanta could be feared a little bit. But it is kind of shaky for them. Um, Last, before we get to the boys, the Dodgers. I'm not worried about them. Yeah, I think they... uh, um, I mean... No, you called it, bro. You, you Ray said this. 
I remember when Ray said it would show his side that contract. He said that junk means nothing if none of them can stay healthy. Yep. Bro, yeah. it, it's <laughs> it happened to the every last year. house. No pun intended. <laughs> Yo, a Billy is crazy for that. And then what's 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 even worse, right? Don't they lead the league in errors? Yeah, bro. Yo, and the thing is, I know Moogie's hurt, but as short, he, they have nobody. They got no one. They and that, and no that's kind of like one of the issues. They need to go get someone. With the Dodgers, is they think they could just. Remember when people were like, oh, you Yankees just spend money on players? No, no, no. no. I mean, that's we spent. Mets and Dodgers. We, well, we, the thing is, in the 2000s, yeah, we spent the money, but we spent the money where we needed it. Yeah. yeah. You know, 2008, we needed a pitcher. We needed a first baseman. We needed two pitchers because we got Agent Burnett. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? In the early 2000s, we needed a lot. We didn't have a third baseman. We lost Ventura and all them niggas. Yeah. yeah. We go and go. We go and get a Rod. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The Dodgers. You guys spent a billy off three pitchers. Yeah. You don't. Uh, uh, with knowing that Max Muncy or is it Max or Will Smith? I forgot who plays short. Knowing that that guy can't really play short. Nah, they have a bunch of like different. Like yeah. They rotate Ma- and Muncy should not even be playing third. Like. He needs oh. to be de-aging. He, he needs to be de-aging. Yeah, he can't be out there, bro. So it's, yeah, it's just kind of like, I get it. You're going for the big names. But a lot of times, the big names is not what gets you over the hump. Yeah. Especially when now you're in a stretch where dudes is hurt. Yeah. You're leading the league with errors. People are not playing in their true positions. Yeah. It's usually the opposite. You have a, a, bunch, of, a bunch of guys that know their, know their role. And then you have that one guy that sticks out you know they have a top heavy and they're loaded all right fine you shoot your clip can you reload yeah. nah you can't so guys guys like you know baltimore where they're one through line heavy they got the dual magazine on they ain't running out and the other the other thing about the dodgers is this like some i think in baseball you can feel it when the team is like oh this is a championship team like with baltimore if you go watch a baltimore game you can feel like, damn, these guys, yeah. not only are they good, but they're together. They like each other. They like yeah. playing with each other. You know, us, before the, the slump, it, we had the grit. We had the swagger. You know, it looked like, damn, this, this could be a championship team. You could say that with Philly, but Philly is just, you know, it's just a city thing. They just, they just, they just always have that swagger. You know what I'm saying? To EJ's point, now he's saying that, yo, if you go out there and look at the Guardians, the Guardians look like they mean business. Yeah. When you watch the Dodgers, you're just watching the Dodgers. Yeah. yeah you're watching the stars. And I, I think, I feel like, <clears throat> I mean, no disrespect to Shohei, but like, I'm getting that this vibe that everybody's just like, oh, let's just watch Shohei. Bro. Right. I mean, that's what I'm saying. They, they're a, a, one, a one trick pony. I'm going a, I'm to a bring that back up with someone else because I was completely right again. And I'm going to bring it up in a second. Because now we're going to move on to our boys. The New York Yankees. Before we move on to Eli's points, are we real? We we sitting on a fence like Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> All right. And this is just... I, I mean, I think I texted you guys the other day when I was losing it. I was lo- This is... First of all, this was second day with my braces. Ooh, no, you, were, you were going through it. My so, boy was oh, like, going to catch his shit. heat. Yeah. They're going to catch his heat. I, I definitely was I was on one watching the game. And the team that played the first X amount of games. 60? That team's for real. These guys that Aaron Boone has out there right now. Yo. I don't. We don't even know who these guys are. I don't know what he's doing. Who is Jemai Jones, and why is he in the lineup? I don't know. Who is Phil Beckford? Why is he pitching? Who are these guys? When we have guys that are proven, it's kind of like no, no, no BS, bro. I feel like it's like the they're trying to self sabotage. Like ah, we can't we can't be that good. We can't be that good. Let's start losing games. What? This is not the same lineup. These are not this. This is not the same team that's playing. It's not. I look at him like what? Who Yo, and I, again, again, I'm gonna say it. 
Why is Trent Grisham batting fifth or fourth in the lineup? Bro, they just re- actually let me br- let me bring this up. I just saw them release the lineup. Let's see let's see today's. Why why you're having this? Like it makes no sense to me. It 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 literally feels like like ah, we gotta lose this one, buddy. Sorry. Like what are we doing? Yo, know, he's tampering and, with bats. And like you you want to know what else too? I'm gonna say about this. How lucky are we that we have a guy like Aaron Judge? Yeah. Had it been like, imagine if that was like, I don't know, like uh, A-Rod. And A-Rod had to go out there and be the only one producing. And he he, he then had to go and see Trent Grisham going back or Jemai Jones. At what point is it going to be like, yo, like, are we trying to win games? Or are we just out here just fielding teams? Yeah, nah, it's gross. It is gross. You get what I'm saying? Like, if like th- th- these are the questions I ask myself. If I'm Juan Soto, I'm going to be like, whoa, damn, why the hell is my manager not playing the best players that he could each game? Man, he might start. Are we, are, are we not trying to win games, or are we just out here just trying to fill <laughs> seats? Like, what are we trying to do? Yo, that's why he didn't sign. Oh, my we, fucking we ain't done I yet. hate that. I, I hate the yet. whole. You feel me? What are we trying to do? Because I, I think I think that's the that's one of the issues that Cashman Cashman because I feel like the Steinbrenner son whatever how I think this year he he showed me a little bit like oh wow he actually really does care about the wins and losses. Cashman I think is more like bro how can I just build this team where I just fill in the seats every day, and then his puppet Boone is kind of just doing whatever. And we said this at the beginning of the season for the two top teams for the Dodgers and and the Yankees you can stack this this roster however you want. But your two most prop, your two probably most important player when it comes to the playoffs is your managers, and I don't believe none of them. I don't believe the dude in in, in L.A. And I don't gotta say shit about Boone, right? Um, bro, and it just it just it just sucks. It just sucks because what what showed me, and and I'm glad that yo Strowman by any chance, if you see this, don't apologize. Nah. If you you should have never apologized. Now I get that your captain spoke to you, and you got it. That's your captain. But no, you're absolutely right. Glaber, cut it the fuck out. You're being a pussy, right? And, and the reason and what I'm bringing up, right? Remember, I said Glaber feels like one of these guys that kind of is just like, ah, uh, we have Judge and Soto. It doesn't really matter how I'm probably performing, right? He hits that home run. Did you guys see how he looked at Judge? Like, Daddy, how'd I do? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that. <laughs> Strowman's waiting for his ass. <laughs> Yo, nah. Like, Strowman was like... There, so, there's, it's a double-edged sword. I love what Strowman did, personally. We need yeah. that. We, we need that from him. We, we need, need it. We need it. You need that on teams. Great teams have those guys. It, I don't care yeah. what nobody says. You can like them. You can dislike them. You, you don't want to start... It, you need those guys. CC was that guy for us. CC yeah. was that. And thank you. CC was that guy for us. And Jeter was Judge. Like yeah. yo, yo, you ain't had to do it right there in that point in time. I get, I get why you're acting like that. You didn't have to handle it like that. My fault, Cap. That's it. Yeah, That's because it. the th- the the reason why I like this is this. When it comes to that, is the right quote unquote negative emotion to have because two other pitchers that we have, right? That when the things go left, they get that certain way, but it's it's way more depressing. And that is Rodon, and that is Cole. Yeah. When shit doesn't go right for those two, yeah. it looks like, just, just, just fuck it. Yeah. Just fuck it. So, Strowman, at least, he sh- yes, he showed that in negative emotion, but at least it was it was exhilarating. It was like, fuck, man. Like, let's let's get up. It wasn't, they won! What yeah. does it matter? Yeah. He got that you. Too. They won. Yeah. Yo. I've seen Cole go on the mound, pitch bad, and then it, it, the body language. The body language just, it screams off that's, of the mound. That's always been an issue for Cole. Yeah. In my, in my he, book. He, in my yeah, book. He's, no, he is. Bad. And wrote on the same way. The same way. He like, you feel me? Like, you want to know what I can respect about Nestor? Yeah, Nestor could get banged up, but he's still going to go out there and he's going to pitch hard. Yeah. He's going to make tough competitive pitches. Yo, there's sometimes with Rodon... You don't know what you're going to get. These last two outings have been gross. 
So I, it's just like, yo, like just have some damn heart, bro. Like, yo, like people who really want to win and care about the game, they're going to show emotion. Man the fuck up. It's a fucking, you guys are men playing a child, children's game. Remember that. Play, pay, getting paid millions of dollars. Go out there and try your best. What are we out here just going through the motions for? For that, we all could be on the field then. And that, and I think, I think that's a huge issue. Not naming Soto, not naming Judge, not yes. naming Strowman. That is a huge issue that I think is happening with a lot of players. You could tell that it's all about, I'm playing for the New York Yankees. I'm playing in the bright lights. It's not like, fuck, bro, I'm playing on the New York Yankees. We need to go get this chip. Yes. Yes. We need to lock in. Yes. We, we got this whole city on our back. No, it's, they're just riding the whole f- the swagger of, of playing on the Yankees. Yeah, well, now they're not in a rough spot. Now you're in a hole. And the thing is, yo, you're, we're in a rough spot. We're still tied for first place in the AL East. You feel me? Yeah, but what Stroman did is, is right timing because you go ahead, you lose two series back to back, and now you go ahead, it looks like they're about to lose this series. They're in trouble. Stroman was like, yo, pick up the intensity. Like, what are we doing here? He's not wrong. Mm-mm. Everyone's lollygagging. Like, yeah, it's cool. It's cool. We're going to be all right. We're Someone's going to pick it up. Judge is going to pick us up. We Nah. One player in baseball is not going to do it's it. the NBA, dog. It's yeah. not. One man is Yo, not going to change just it. Look at, just look at Baltimore, bro. Just it's, really look at Baltimore. Not. The guy at Baltimore is Gunner. Yes. But then Santander has three, 13 home runs in this month. Exactly. He don't give a fuck who Gunner is. But that's the point, bro. That's like, the point. Like, the Baltimores, Cleveland, yeah. those teams, they're playing to win. Yeah. They want to win. They got each other's backs. They got each other's backs. They're playing for each other. When we were on that roll, that was what we were doing. Now it's literally, like I said, we got, yo, I, I, I'd much rather see your name on the fucking lineup, Eli's name on the lineup, rather than Jemai Jones and Trent Grisham. I'm being dead, dead for real. Or Yo. Phil Beckford. I know I could put Eli on the mound right now instead of Phil Beckford, and he'll give me more innings than whatever Phil Beckford's going to give me. Also, I know you're going through a slump. I get it. And you got to take care of that. But Verdugo, I still need the energy. Yeah. Just because you're going through a slump doesn't mean you got to also shy away from it. Just be Verdugo. Yeah. Where it's okay. No one's going to tell you, Yo, bro, you're batting 160. No, 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 no. Uh-huh. Well, no one should tell you. Let me say that. No one should tell you. Still bring the energy you were bringing when you were batting 302. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just bring it. That was going to be my next point. Because they need that. They need you. They, the Strowman's doing what he's doing. Now, Judge, listen, nothing against Judge. Judge, I just like how you're doing it because you're, you're just a quiet captain. You just do it like kind of off the scene. So continue doing what you're doing in that point. I don't, I don't look for Judge for the hypeness. I, I just need you to be a captain when, you know, when the doors are closed. Strowman, Verdugo, Soto. Soto's still kind of doing what he's doing. I know he has like that arm injury or whatever the fuck is going on. Just, take just bring the energy because obviously the rest of the crew doesn't really have it in them to do it. You know, and my thing with Verdugo is we're not expecting him to hit 300. No. We're not. Yeah. So for, and I know he's probably putting a little bit more pressure on himself than he should, but the energy, that dog that y'all was talking about in the beginning – yeah, y'all do it when it's all happy and dandy, but we need that dog when it's not going your way. What Michael say? When- it's easy to talk when you up or let's talk when it's zero zero. And and I want that same intensity mm-hmm. when we're you know <laughs> three series down, hey. and and we need to pick back up. So like that that Strowman like that that needs to continue to happen. That outburst, it it maybe it shouldn't have came to light at that moment. But in the dugout, like, yeah, you need to be ringing some ears. Like, they need to hear you. They need to feel you. You can't – there's no way your pitchers has bases loaded with your boy Guerrero at the freaking plate and and my boy gets a ground ball to shortstop and you go ahead, just take your time and throw. That should not happen. Yes, pick up the intensity. We are playing the Blue Jays, and I have bases loaded, one out. Help me. Don't make it seem like I'm the only one pitching. I'm the only one playing for the team. That's my point, bro. And I think that's why I, I, I'm like, yo, n- no need to say sorry. That's Turn the double point. play. Get it going. That's my point. Like, get it moving. Yeah, okay, you're in a slump, bro. You're struggling, bro. But, hey, my boy's dealing. Yeah, I'm off these Yankees, bro. Yo, 
Because, like I said in the beginning of the season, it was it's awesome. They they looked great when they were playing well, but that shit means nothing if after the All Star break they can't do it. So that's Yo, where I stand. And they just need people like, sorry Eli, because I know you're that type of guy. Stay off the stats, bro. Just do me the favor and just stay off the stats. There was no need. I I said this weeks in and week out. Cole should have waited after the All Star break. Yes, bro. Cole's pitching today, by the way. And we'll see how that works out. If he bounces back, all right, I'll shut up for another week. But It's the Blue Jays. Cole should have waited. Listen, we get it. I, we want you back or whatever. Schmidt went down. Okay, cool. But let's give you a little bit more time. Keep getting some reps in. We got you at the All-Star break. We had, at the time, at that time, yeah. dudes were rolling. Gil was Gil. You know, Strowman was doing his thing. Yeah. Like, Gil, uh, Gil. Dudes were rolling. We don't really need you right now. Just lay back, right? Yeah, because at this at that point we sh- shouldn't have pulled them in. At this point, you would have been like, "All right, well, we gotta bring them in now." Because Gill, the past two games, rocked. Nestor can't get past four innings, and Rodon has been getting lit up. Rodon first inning is one of the hor- most horrific sing- things I ever seen in my life. <laughs> Every first inning Rodon pitches, it's immediate four or five runs. Yo, wh- uh, and, and I don't not- get it because it goes four, and then it's. Zero one and then zero zero and then he's out the game. So I'm like, bro, can you get going in the bullpen? Like, bef- yeah. what's your warm up, bro? What is? Why are you not sharp from game from pitch one? How? Why does it take you four innings to get going? I had a boy named Cece who knew he w- he would pitch a simulated two innings before he got on because he knew. My stuff is not in sync when I get on the mountain. And that's start. that's what it is right there. You have to know that. That's what, exactly what it is. What is the issue? He doesn't I can't know. Go ahead. Rodon doesn't know before he steps on that mound. He doesn't know what's going to happen today. And that that this goes back to what EJ said last week. It's confidence. Rodon probably steps on that that rubber. Whatever happened right before in the bullpen warming up, he was not confident at his stuff. Now he's going into the into the first inning. James Duran or whatever the fuck the guy named in Boston when I went to watch the game gets a double right off rip. We're sc- they're scoring three runs in the first inning. Now kudos to Boston because I know Boston is on a run right now. Yeah, they are doing their thing along with like the Mets. The Mets are doing their thing, and now Toronto's fucking. They decide to wake it up on us, on us too, but it's. We had this issue in like 2015, 2017, I don't remember what it was, where, where it was a confidence issue. Gary Sanchez didn't have confidence. Gleyber Torres didn't have confidence. Um, I didn't really hear it with Judge, right? And then if, if those guys don't have confidence, you think I'm going to look at Didi Gregorius and be like, yo, be up. I need 32 home runs for you. <laughs> I know, bro. I know. No, I'm with you. I'm with you. And the thing is, you know, Every, every, like, it's like dominoes. Like, a bunch of soft, I don't even want to say it, but, yo, one goes down. They all go down. Like, no one wants to stand up. And Strowman's that guy. Like, bro, I'm not folding. I'm going to pitch my ass off. Y'all got to pick it up. Yo, someone, I am not wrong. Someone told me, and he he's it's showing, he's showing his ass. Someone told me, when I kept saying, yo, I really want Snell, I was obviously wrong about that. Yeah, yeah, and God. someone's like, fuck Snell, I want Strowman because that's the attitude we need in New York. Bro, Thank and the God. thing is, like, you know, you got Rodon, like, you know, you have, they, Rodon's first five, six games, he was, but, what well, I think you said we're good. Too. He probably was confident, he was doing the right warm-up, he probably got complacent or nonchalant, because they were winning, oh, I don't gotta warm up that hard, it's whatever. Boom! Yeah, and, 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 and you know what I, sucks. You know what I also think plays a role because Nestor benefited this, and now it's coming out to light for a lot of them. It's also very nice when you're on the round on the mound, knowing that your team is probably going to score eight nine runs. Yeah, and now we're only scoring two. Well, bro, the thing is, this is get, this is the MLB, tight. bro. If you don't think teams are gonna like adjust to the lineup, you know we gotta adjust to them too. That they're gonna pitch to us differently. Then what what are we doing? Yeah, bro. Is I mean, yeah. now that things are like holes in the lineup, now it's easy to pitch around yeah. Soto and Judge. Now, yeah, now, now, now I don't have to go at them. I don't have to go <laughs> at them now. And and obviously, Stanton not having Stanton is another because Stanton was doing his yeah, thing. Yeah, no, it, I'm it, not. It, yeah, it shows. It, was, it shows. Doing his thing. Because, but it, you know, batting two. But it's also the presence. Because and... because if I'm a pitcher to Eli's point, sorry. And I look, damn, the inning is over now. I got to go pitch this inning. And my one, two, three batter is Soto Judge Stanton. Yeah. 
It's different. I get Fuck. <laughs> I'm not walking three guys. It's not Soto, Judge. Grisham. Grisham. <laughs> yeah, see? Or Jemai Jones. Because you know what I would do? Or J.D. Davis. Walk. Walk. All right, let's go to war. Yeah. And I'll handle this. And Princeton Jones and whatever his name is, I got it. Double play. Double yeah. That's what happens. That's a fact. Double play. Double, Double play. And you got. And then you get a strikeout. You get, and then you get a strikeout to inning over. Inning over. Yo, judge, judge at third like this. Like, what the fuck? Are you out that ass? Yo. Mm-hmm. That's how it'll go. I believe me. Yo, trust me, guys. Believe we are. Me. We need to be more grateful that Judge is the way he is, bro. Judge Yo. Soto, dumb boys is really. Uh, he could have been. What, what the Papa Bomb say? <laughs> nah. I hate him too, but fuck. But, yeah. I hate that he's kind of right right now. Oh, my. I'm not, I'm not going to jump the gun early because I'm always the type of person I, I, I need to see who you are, you know? And right now, it's, yeah, it's two, three series, but like, let's see if this is truly who the Yankees are. Yeah, he, he, he did predict the downfall. Yeah, but there's still another. Freaking 60 games. Uh, yeah, you're right. You, you know what I mean? There's still 60 games. We yeah. did say they had holes that we got to fix that third, second. Cool. But this ain't the finished product. We don't We don't know if this is what we're going to rock with come playoff time. Mm-hmm. I'm not jumping a gun. Am I Am I nervous? Am I like, hey, yo, yellow flag is out? Yeah, the yellow flag. Red? I'm not I'm not br- stopping the brinks. I'm not there yet. I am not there yet. I might, I might bring out the red, bro. And I'm going to tell you why. I told you guys earlier that sometimes that city culture plays a role. If this was Joe Torre, we wouldn't be in this slump. No. Joe Torre would be like, yo, you either pick this up or I'm going to bench you for the next 10 games. Well, that's, that's or problem. you're benching we, I'm bringing up whoever the fuck. We talk, bro. I mean, we right? said that. I the said o- that the other day they benched uh, DJ and, and Glaber. Cool. I'm cool with that because these two are not doing it. Now who they replace them with? All right, what are we doing? And that's to his point. That is to his point. What are we doing? And if this was Joe, I, I might even say Girardi would have done better. Yes. Yeah. I might have, Girardi might have handled this better. Yeah. Honestly, I mean, don't get me started on that. He should really still be our manager. Because I think that's something that we need to also bring to light. I think if you're in the NBA as a coach, if you're in the MLB as a manager, hockey, you Rangers fans know this. If you have that coach flip, yeah. that has that fire in him, it puts a fire in your ass too. Mm-hmm. But if I have a coach that's looking like Arthur with his freaking fists just sitting in the dugout, not saying a fucking lick, but wants to get thrown out every two, three games for a stupid ass safe call, I don't give a fuck about you getting thrown out, bro. That's doing nothing for the team. Nothing. That's doing nothing for the team. I need you to buck up when we're playing bad, and you're not doing that. Yo, don't worry about it, Strowman, bro. Pick it up in the next inning. That's doing shit for me, bro. I'm just I just threw Strowman out there, but that's doing shit for me. I need I need to know that my manager has that fire too. If you're just on that first stool like this and we're striking out batter after batter after batter, I'm gonna look at you, nigga. Get the fuck off the stool, bro. Get this Hal could probably manage better than you. I manage better than you. Hire me. No, please. Come on. And it might not start with him, but I'm the first thing I'm looking at is is Boone. Someone I read, I forgot where I read it at TikTok or Instagram. The, the the first comment, homeboy said, if we make it to the World Series and don't win a game, Boone needs to be looked at. I think even if we don't make it to the World Series, Boone needs to be looked at. Another thing that Boone is also gonna fall um in line if, if shit doesn't go left, that trade deadline is coming up. And if we don't fucking make a move for first, third, second, and a pitcher. Boone is going to be looked at. Don't talk to me about Cashman. Don't talk to me about how. Yeah. If I'm Boone, I'm going up to Cashman. I don't give a fuck who you are. I need a first, a second, a third, and a dude in, in my in my uh, bullpen. Yeah. Let's get it happen. I don't give a shit what your name is. What are we doing? I'm managing this team. Mm-hmm. But if you're on that first stool with that stupid ass red table Rolex, I hate that Rolex. Every time I see that red band, I hate that fucking Rolex mm-hmm. from him. Yeah, I know. No. Fuck that guy. And I've said this for years. And he and, and, and just keeps coming back. Then they give him an extension. I don't get what the fuck. What, Cashman, what the fuck do you see in Boone? DM me, please. Somehow find this clip and DM me. I need to know because I don't get it. And I don't get how, la- first of all, I don't get how the horrific season we had last year. Now we're pairing it with the last two, three weeks that we have now. And you still don't think it's Boone. Now, it's not all Boone. I get it. It's not all Boone. 
But Moon has to be at the top of the fucking list. I just, I don't get it. That's all I have. Yeah, that's all I have, too. I'm tired of talking about them. Yeah, this is probably going to be, unless they turn it around or whatever. Even if they turn around, I'm probably done. Because yeah, yeah. I don't want it to be like, oh, we're back at it because yeah, the Yankees no, are back yeah. on top. I need, I need to see... I need to see me, Ray, because of my eye test. I need to see something that will really make me feel like, how, oh, fuck. How I feel about and that's the why I, I'm not jumping a gun. Yeah. You know what I mean? Things need to happen before, you yeah, know what I, I mean? Before the right, I'm there. You because the right approach. if this was no trades, they're playing like this, and it's freaking late August, I'm going to be like Ray. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? But if they make a couple trades, then they turn the leaf after All Star break, and they're playing solid ball. I'm gonna be like, all right, we're all right. But I do agree with him. Even if they go ahead, make a run, make it to the World Series, I'm still questioning Boone. Yeah. I'm- how I feel about the Yankees right now is how I feel about the Rangers. The Rangers, you know, everybody's talking about. Oh, we have a whole bunch of cap space. So much we can do, bro. It don't mean shit. It if you don't means do nothing. nothing if we're no. gonna lose to the same freaking teams in the playoffs. It means nothing if we can't beat the teams that are in our division. It means absolutely nothing to me who we sign, bro. What's, what's who we get? The perfect example just won an NBA championship. How many seasons in and out uh, do, do we hear? Come up, to, Boston's gonna show up and show up to the playoffs yeah. and lose to whoever. How many years do we say that? Six. And then this year is finally like, oh, fuck. They got it. They and, got it. I mean, it took them six. I will say this because I, I, I was um, uh, for work and stuff. I've been watching like a lot of film on Boston, a lot of Joe Missoula stuff, which, by the way, Joe Missoula, I got to apologize, bro. You actually no, we, are, you we, are you are smart. We you, gave him the kudos. That yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, I know. But actually, like deep diving into like what he had to remember how you were saying like he wasn't putting them in the right sets. I don't know if I totally agree with that anymore. What, who? Who Joe in the Mazzula. right sets? Like, putting the Celtics in the right sets. Well, it was late game. My, anything with him, late game, oh, I felt like oh, okay. in okay, the okay, beginning, I felt, yo, he's butter. Yo. It's just the late play calling that sometimes yeah. they get put in a position. If you keep it close, he struggles. Yeah. But to his point, he was like, hey, is he does if he plays to his strength, which is we're going to win by 10 to yeah, 15 yeah, points, yeah, yeah. He doesn't. Ooh, he doesn't. We don't have to worry about his weakness. No, so fact. he's gonna play so by his strength. Which is what he does really well. Yeah. But, so the finals that Boston lost to Golden State. I rewatched that. I rewatched all the games, and Boston actually played not bad, but JT played played had a couple bad games, but I think what they ran into in that series was. Steph was just on a different level. It was kind of like on some, uh, I'm not trying to compare it to, but like on some LeBron shit. Uh, no, 100%. Like he just went, he just went bonkers, right? One man show. And there was the, I think the year before that, they lost to Miami mm-hmm. in the Eastern Conference Finals, game seven, I believe. And that was just, you know, I, I felt like, you know, there were, there were plays that game that were, that could have been that could have went either way. Boston had some really bad turnovers in the in the like down the stretch in the fourth. That gave Miami momentum that allowed them to beat them. Um years prior to that, they ran into LeBron. So like I think now having being able to watch those films and look back on everything, like, yeah, Boston had their opportunities to win, but they had some tough, tough roadblocks in the way. And I feel like the way that the media did them this year when they won the championship was wrong. Like, the fact that they went through what they went through and the teams that they had to play against, players they had to play against, this championship definitely should have been celebrated way more. And, I, and, I, and you know, that's me looking at it in hindsight, right? Because I remember during, I was tight that they won, obviously. I wanted Kyrie and the Mavs to win. Yeah. But... Looking back on it now, like yo, like them boys put that work in. Struggled. They struggled. Like they, they. But it's a, it's a. Hey man, going back to that city culture, it's Boston. Yeah, yeah bro. Like you know, when, whenever the times there? whenever the Patriots won, it wasn't really a hype thing. Whenever the Red Sox won, no one cared about the Red Sox. I mean, yeah, I guess that was a big deal, but it wasn't really like 
damn, they struggled. Damn, they had to go through the Yankees. No, it was just like, oh, kudos. You won the, the World Series and move on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's just it's just that city. People hate that city. That's true. I mean, they're, they're, that city just wins, you know? Title town. So for them, it's the regular. And then for everybody else, it's like, I hate y'all. So, and it sucks because, yeah, you're right. Yo, Golden State, Miami twice. You get LeBron, game seven at your house. Like, Yo, you got some pretty darn, darn falls. And LeBron went Lakers. Yeah, Yo, stupid. we talk about 2018 Bron all the time. Steph, stupid. Steph. Steph went stupid down 2-1. Yo, game four? Yo, yeah, if y'all ever get a chance, just go back and watch that. That was that the 60-point game. game, right? Or the 50-point game yeah. or whatever it was? Yo. Um... <laughs> That's when I said, Ayo Curry. You got it. You got it. That, that's what I wanted. <laughs> boy, that one is yours, solidified. I don't have, yo, I don't got to say nothing about him. That boy yeah, is, back, 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 you back, green back. bean. That's all I got, gang. Yeah, that's it, bro. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys like this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. We are pre we appreciate most of the love that we're getting right now, man. Just keep 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 supporting us. We got more and better things coming up for you guys. We love you guys. Make sure you tell someone you love them. Um, and hit that notification bell so you never miss a beat. It's your boys here at the BS Podcast. We'll catch you next time. Peace.